Hey folks, Lana here with Cowboy Boots Hats and Western Life Enthusiasts. Today we got a boot review sponsored by Carter's Boots. Now Carter's Boots is an online retailer selling cowboy boots from Hondo Boots, Carter's Boots, which is their own brand, Anderson Bean, Macy Bean, Horsepowers, and other brands. They also have leather care products and a full service repair so if y'all ever need any repairs done don't hesitate to contact the kind folks at Carter's Boots. Now the boots that we have for review today is going to be a first time review that we've had on this channel for this brand and they are the Hondo Boots. Now this is the first time that I've reviewed Hondo Boots and it's been a very popular topic. Um, they've been around for quite some time and now for the first time we're going to check him out let's get into it so first things first these are the brown buff sharks by hondo boots and um the box looks very traditional. I don't think they've changed the box design since they started in the 70s. Um, very traditional box, uh, Pride Collection. And, um, well, let's go ahead and uh, take a look on the inside. So, when we open them up, first thing we're gonna see is the paper from Hondo Boots. And we're gonna take these out. Now, we don't usually talk about the vamp or the shaft as the first thing, but these are the tallest shafts I've ever seen in the cowboy boot myself. And these are a 16 inch shaft, definitely the tallest one that I've ever reviewed on this channel. So basically they're just gonna be like this and then they're also going to have the shaft shaper, which as always I recommend that y'all keep that. Now I don't think that they've had anything on the inside, which they don't. So shaft shapers, keep those. And here they are. I'm going to put this box on the side for now. Now, these boots are very tall. Uh, they're the 16 inch shafts. But as always, we're not going to start with the shaft. We're going to go ahead uh, to the sole. So you got a nice leather sole uh, all throughout. Then you got some uh, brass nails and a set of row of lemon wood pegs. Uh, on the heel, you have, of course, your rubber cap heel, and you guys can see the nails that have been uh, placed to actually put those heels down. This is a stacked leather heel. Also, it is a traditional cowboy heel, and it is uh, slightly underslung. And you also have a spur shelf right here. So definitely, um, Hondo keeps with the tradition of basically making a traditional working cowboy boot. You know, you got your underslung heel so you could have a nice grip there and then, you know, your spur shelf. But uh, moving on, you got a single stitch Goodyear welt, uh, as you guys could see, uh, very nicely finished out. Uh, then for the toe you got a w toe or as many of you guys could call it a wider round toe um and then you got your very nice yellow and uh, white stitched on the toe bug uh very nice shark skin very nicely finished out not too pronounced just perfectly done uh not any imperfections that i'm seeing in this boot for real um now the heel counter, very nice and strong, very tough, very well done. Um, now going up on the shaft, you got this huge 16 inch shaft uh, with some red, yellow and white stitching. Now the shaft looks like it is uh, cowhide, uh, very nice and thick. Uh, some of these uh, shafts, they could be thin. This is very nice and thick. And also you got the pull holes. Uh, these are not pull tabs. Uh, they are meant to look like pull tabs, but they are made out of uh, shark skin as well. Now on the inside, you got a leather lining, uh, full cowhide, very thick. 
and it looks like this on the inside now what i love about these boots is the fact that they are using a traditional hard leather insole so you don't got one of these foot beds um, with foam or cork or anything like that you just literally got a hard leather insole and that's what i like to see because i like the traditional insole and it's just a little piece of leather just the way they used to be made back in the days so let's go ahead and try these boots on. all right so initially from watching jeremiah craig's reviews on the hondo boots i understood that they are a little bit tighter of a fitting boot but for the purposes of this video i did grab them in my regular size just to see how they would fit and i am wearing thinner socks just to make up for it so let's see how they fit all right now i do feel that they are a little bit tight but they went right on and it's not really all that bad but they are definitely a little bit on the tighter side now for some folks they like their boots tighter and for some they like them looser but not a bad fit at all I would probably be inclined to go with a half a size bigger uh, but that's just me uh, if you like your boots a little tighter get your own size and you'll probably fit just fine so this is a side profile front top top other side and Let's get back on top. So here's my conclusion on these Hondo shark skin boots. First of all, I have to mention a pair of boots that are very similar to these um, in a lot of ways. And that would be the Tecovis Prescott Sand Shark boots. Now, if y'all haven't seen that review, I will leave a link in the description below. But um, they are both shark skin boots. They're both meant for a working cowboy. And they um, both are round toes. Uh, they both have the spur ledge and a little bit of a taller uh, shaft. Um, now, there's a lot of differences between them, even though they're similar. Uh, one of the things that I mentioned in the Prescott review was I wish that they had a single stitch welt because they do have a double stitch welt with that round toe. And I think it makes it look... Um, a little less refined and I wish they had the single stitch welt. well Hondo actually answered that and it does really look much better if I actually had these instead of the Prescott's I would have probably ended up liking the round toe but because of those they kind of turned me off from it that's why I will not be keeping these boots but if y'all like round toes this is a great option um, so now the shark skin is much thicker than the Prescott it uh, feels a lot nicer a lot higher quality um, even the leather on the shaft everything about this boot is top-notch uh, also uh, the spur ledge now these are just finished out a whole lot better uh, the one in the Prescott they used to be uh, beaten up right out of the box uh, that's how I saw them uh, and y'all will see that in the review um, these ones are just finished out perfectly and that's because they have the little piece of plastic on top to protect it and it's just really well done even the counter and the um, heel is just finished out really nicely uh, and also you got a nice thick piece of leather for the sole so it's really done well and it doesn't have that butyl treated uh, sole like the Tecovis Prescott do which made it an extremely heavy boot despite the fact that this one is a 16 inch tall shaft you would think this is a heavier boot but it's not it's much lighter than the Prescott um, also I love the fact that it's traditionally done on the inside and the fitting was a little bit tight on this Hondo but not as bad as on the Prescott um, 
this is much more consistent with uh, with your standard size. On the Prescott, I ordered a size 12 and they were way too big. And then when I ordered the size 11 and a half, it was way too tight. So to me, it did not fit my foot at all. I know if I would have gotten double E, it would have been even worse. So I know that with Hondo, maybe I could go with a 12 and a half because I like a little bit of a looser fit, but um, not too much um, as the Prescott and 12D was. So uh, these boots are coming in at $400. And the Prescott's are coming in at $385. And for $15, y'all cannot go wrong with these boots. Both of them are made in uh, Leon, Mexico. But these are obviously made way better. The finish on them is a lot better. And the quality of the leather is a whole lot better. Now, uh, yes, they are three uh, about $15 more. But if y'all use my promo code at cartersboots.com, Y'all could actually get these boots for 10% off, which will come out to $360. So y'all could actually get a better quality boot than the Tecovis Prescott for actually less money. So that is all I have for y'all today. If you guys like this review, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more things coming up. And I just want to thank y'all so much for supporting my channel. And if you guys have any questions or any comments on these boots, please leave them in the comment down below. See you on the next one.